What is going on everybody? In this video, I want to go over the final moments from Young Kiv versus Joke, the semi-final matchup from the B-Dubs Bowl 2 playoffs. You guys might have seen it. Uh, it happened a few days ago where eventually Skimbo was crowned the winner, but the ending of this game was definitely in insane, and so I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit. So getting right into it, you got Joke on offense with the Vikings on defense, Kiv with the Giants. So Joke just scored a touchdown. You can see a minute, 11 seconds left, down by two. So he's going for two to try and tie it. So running the Green Bay Packers playbook, comes out single back, tight flex. And now on defense, you can see Kiv in a nickel look. Uh, traditional, pretty, pretty standard. The only thing is no base align. So you can see he's got his defenders, you know, in close, a matching the compressed formation from Joke. So no base line to have those defenders uh, further inside. And then he has the pinch line, standard pinch line, but he also pinches his linebackers. And so now this is good for a couple reasons for Kiv. Uh, it basically shows that it tells Joke, okay, there is a HB dive out of this formation that is pretty effective, but this is going to deter Joke from wanting to run an HB dive. On top of the fact Kiv definitely could be in a cover four style defense since uh, that's kind of what is best against the run this year. And in, in this situation from the two yard line, Kiv definitely has to respect the run. So it could be a cover four along with the fact that he's got, you know, essentially 11 guys in the box because I mean, these are his safeties right here. And so it really makes Joke not want to run the HB dive. And so by Kiv knowing this, Kiv can go ahead, pre-snap, make it look like, you know, you really don't want to run the ball. But then post-snap, he could be dropping a ton of people, which is actually what he's going to end up doing. So you're going to see as the camp, as the play rolls here, Joke making adjustments, uh, trying to figure out what Kiv might be in. So snap of the ball, you can see already, you see Kiv rushing three linemen, two defensive ends, one defensive tackle. Drops one defensive tackle into a spy right here. And then what you'll see on both sides of the field here is going to be a hard flat and a cloud flat on both sides here. So hard flat and a cloud flat. You're going to see two what look to be vertical hooks. So you have vertical hook number one right here on that side. Vertical hook number two right here on that side. And then you've got Kiv uh, with his user defender who is lurking right here so he ends up dropping back into a oh, kind of i guess a cover two ish type of shell uh, basically it's a cover two where uh essentially you put both your safeties into you know cloud flats or hard flats um on this side he did put it wasn't his safety it was his corner and his nickel corner into a hard flat cloud flat on the left side i believe it was his corner and safety into a hard flat cloud flat so that left his one of his middle linebacker or one of his linebackers on this left vertical hook, his safety on this right vertical hook, and then he's using his linebacker over the middle. So on joke side, uh, you can kind of see the route combo uh, progressing here, right here. You see double crossing route. So you have an in route on this side. He has a slant going on this side. And then what you're going to see is a post route coming uh, crossing in the back of the end zone. So I'm going to go ahead, roll it right here. Uh, you can see he has... Now, obviously, hindsight 2020 here, it looks like this was a corner route, and it looks like he definitely has him open right now. He could go with a nice high point in the back of the end zone. Uh, as you can see on the right side of the field, Kiv definitely preoccupied right here. His user, he's looking at this B, this backside uh, B receiver post route. So it looks like he definitely could have squeezed that in right there. Uh, but obviously in this type of situation, Kiv's got guys dropping all over the field. Tough to make a read. You roll it a little bit more. And uh, at this point, you can see Kiv definitely flowing to this side of the formation here. And Jokes got the underneath crosser uh, on this, this X receiver crossing right here into this wide open vacated part of the field. So another kind of misread right there for Joke. Unfortunate, but like I said, you can't really blame him. This is a super... A clutch moment in the game. Kiv's got guys dropping all over the field. You know, you're trying to make it a two-yard pass into a, an area where Kiv's dropping eight defenders along with trying to have some pocket presence, although his line's doing a good job of picking up any pressure and preventing block sheds. But he really cannot blame a joke for missing that read. So he kind of starts uh, wavering in the pocket a little bit. 
And at this point, his routes just kind of start bouncing all over the place. And once your routes start bouncing, it's going to be really tough to kind of make a read and find somebody, especially trying to avoid the block sheds right there. You see Kiv gets a block shed, and he ends up getting a shoestring tackle that's going to bring Joke down and uh, prevent him from tying up the game with that two-point conversion. So now if we skip ahead a little bit here, uh, Kiv actually ends up getting the ball. Joke kicks it deep. And so... In this case, what you're going to see here, if we can skip ahead uh, to third and one right here. So third and one, Joke had all three timeouts. So instead of going for the onside, he elected to kick it deep and try and stop him, try and stop Kiv on defense. So what you're going to see right here, uh, I think was brilliant from Kiv. So regardless of you seeing Joke set up right here pre-snap. Now, let's talk about Joke set up pre-snap. It looks like he's going to have corner strike. He, he might be expecting corner strike here. Because he would have it pretty well defended, at least on the left side. He's got a man-to-man -man assignment on the running back to prevent him being open on that table route. And then if Joke sees that it is corner strike, he can shoot out uh, to this C route and user it out there since it's his defender who's assigned to that quarter flat. The problem is he goes hard flat, quarter flat on the right side here, as you can see both zones. So if Kiv runs anything over the middle, typically in corner strike, you might see, you know, maybe like an in route on the backside or uh, some people will go with, you know, the classic uh, streak flat corner, which if that's the case, if Kiv goes with that on the right side, that's going to be locked up. And then a joke will have, you know, the left side locked up as well. Kiv's only read really would be a quick high point to this uh, receiver running the streak. So if that was the setup that Joke was predicting, and if that was what Kiv ran, uh, then this setup for Joke defensively definitely would have worked out well. But in this case, uh, as soon as you see this outside motion by young Kiv, if you're Joke, you've got to think you're probably in trouble because uh, this outside motion pretty much screams either Z spot or PA post. Not many people will motion out uh, that corner route on corner strike anymore uh, it wasn't really as popular ever as something like you know z-spot or pa post to see you know a motion out delayed slant if it's z-spot usually you know people might run you know something like uh, skimbo runs with a, a streak a drag and then you get the motion out slant and then you've got the backside deep post or if it's pa post what a lot of people will do is just go drag you've got the drag you've got the c route you got the post right over the middle, and then you're going to have a delayed slant coming back over the middle of the field. Now, you'll see uh, this is the setup that actually Kiv ends up going with, and this was brilliant because if you're Kiv, you've got to be thinking, okay, third and one, Joke definitely expecting a run. What's Joke going to be running out of nickel? So he's in nickel. What's Joke going to be running out of nickel to stop the run? It's really only cover four. If Joke was in something like dollar, then, you know, maybe it's in a cover four. Maybe it's a DB fire two press. Maybe it's even spinner. Uh, but really, if you're in nickel and your Joke, it's third and one. Kiv needs a yard to end the game. You're probably expecting run. You're probably going to come out and cover four. And now, not only does Kiv probably know exactly what defense Joke's coming out in, Joke, by using this defender right here and showing that he's using him, really, it's impossible for Joke to defend any type of flood concept on the left side of the field, how he's being the, in this case, he he's the only defender on that side of the field. Now, if maybe Kiv had, or Joke rather, if Joke had crossmanned, you know, instead of uh, the running back right here, if he had crossmanned this guy onto the the um the drag route by the tight end you know maybe that would help out a little bit he the drag would run into it then joke can run out and defend the c route but either way jokes not sending pressure and no matter what this backside delayed slants gonna get open over the middle of the field so no matter what joke has to shoot out and defend this left side of the field whereas joke or kiv rather will always have this backside slant but if Joke had done this and manned up uh, his defensive end on the tight end, that would have opened up corner strike. The table route would have been open. Joke would have had to user it. And then Kiv could hit the C route or vice versa. So what you're going to see in this case is a Joke does a good job of, well, he actually gets caught up in the line right here. So Kiv goes play fake off a of PA post. So Joke gets caught up in the line, tries to recover. So Really, Kiv had his pick of the litter right here. So, Joke was literally the only defender assigned to this left side of the field area, and he got caught up in the line. So, he's, you know, delayed on getting out there on his own. So, really, Kiv could have hit this drag route right here. Kiv could have hit this C route. 
or Kiv could have been patient in the pocket and this backside slant's going to open up. You're going to see a Kiv actually ends up hitting the C route just to be safe. And uh, that's going to go ahead and seal the game for him. He, I think he was safe just because he didn't want, you know, Jokes user making any fluke plays and, you know, insanely, you know, jumping that drag route or whatever. But great game from both the from both players obviously i mean joke one of the best players in the world this year finished top four at the Madden championship 17 tournament and top four in this one as well so uh hats off to him hats off to young kid for making it to the finals of this one against skimbo it was really fun tournament to watch i really enjoyed watching it and i really enjoyed making this breakdown so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh definitely comment let me know what you guys thought let me know what i can do better for next time and until next time guys take it easy